Hey everyone, this is Chris. I'm here today to show off one of the Caster Chronicle booster boxes. Um, this is a new game that just came out a few months ago. Uh, this set is called The Magic Battle Begins. Um, we are getting another set early next year, so I'm kind of excited and I wanted to make sure to get a chance to open up one of these uh, on film. Uh, so this is this is the full booster box. Uh, it's a little smaller than most if you're used to things like Magic or Force of Will. This one's only 20 packs and each one's got eight cards in it. Um, the set itself, however, is huge. Uh, it's like, I want to say 150 different cards. Let's see, they're, they're saying 120, uh, 169, 183, over 190. 190 different cards. Um, Oh, I guess I could have just read that, huh? Well, um, the mistakes of, of recording without cutting, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so that is a gigantic set and a small box. So you are not going to get everything in these boxes. Um, it can be a good and a bad thing. Uh, it might make the singles market really, really big for this game. But why don't we crack into this, see what we can find. Um, Hopefully we'll get something exciting. So to be candid, I have played this game a couple times now. Uh, it's a lot of fun if you're looking for a new TCG to get into because I know we all need a new addiction. Um, this is definitely a cool one to look into, uh, but you've got to you've got to like anime characters, mostly anime girls. Um, it is very very anime-ish. Alright. So there's our pack layout. Let's get this to the side. Here's one of our packs. They're actually pretty cool uh, pack art. They're, they've got kind of a foil sheen to them, as you might be able to see. Um, so, yeah. Now this game is made by the creators of Force of Will. And what that means is you also get your you get your willpower points with it. So you get these still, and they all scan into the same app, which is cool. Um, so I don't know how they'll do the rewards at the end of the year, but I assume it'll be some sort of a mix between Force of Will and um, Caster Chronicles cards, which I'm excited to find out more about. Um, the cards in these sets, the characters are really, they're, they're kind of funny, kind of entertaining. The supplies one, you know, you've got a pencil here. Um, this is part of cosmetics, so some sort of a, a rouge um, a brush or something. Um, a flower. I've been pretty entertained just looking at the art on a lot of these. Um, you'll see they brought back the break mechanic, which you might remember from Force of Will. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, so far, it, it seems to be a little more balanced. Here's one of your rulers. Uh, I'm sorry, not a ruler. They're casters in this game. And uh, you're going to need these to bring out your, uh, your magic. So you get a couple of them in this pack. I'm going to go through some of these packs kind of quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on some of the commons, uncommons, and such but I want to make sure we get a look at what, what comes out of these. Bird dog, fire wheel, slow start. Um, that's an interesting one. Your, your uh, servants, which are your creatures in this game, don't have uh, um, summoning sickness. So they can actually attack on their first turn. But with a number of green cards, they have what's called slow start. So they do have summoning sickness in that case. Quick cast, I think, is pretty self-explanatory if you're used to other games. We've got a couple, couple casters there. So the story of this game is um, kind of silly. I don't know. I don't remember all the details of it, but basically, these high school girls are at their school or something, and. These demons break through from another dimension, and they give them these powers to become magical girls, like you can see here on the playmat. Um, and they all have to battle each other using their servants of their different types. And 
um, those those servants can um, can beat each other in different ways. They all have different abilities, and they have to discover which girl is the strongest caster. So, um, got a rare there. She's a kind of a cool servant. Yeah, the story's the story's goofy, but they're doing a they're doing an online um, manga for it, just like they did with Force of Will. Um, so the storyline's out there. You can go check it out online. Box cutter. I love the supplies. I think they're the funniest ones. A couple more casters there. Now what I'm really looking for for the really rare ones is the level two casters. We are guaranteed to get a couple of them in each box, so we'll be keeping an eye out for those. Um, and then on top of that, there's your secret rares and your hyper rares. Secret rares, I believe, are all level two casters, um, but they have the signatures on them like they do in, uh, in some of the other Japanese style card games. And then the, uh, the hyper rares, there's only one in this set that I'm aware of, and uh, it's an alternate printing of another card, which the secret rares are as well, but. We're always keeping an eye out for those. Hopefully we'll run into one of them here, let's see. said I'm going to start going through these a little faster she's a beast if you can get her out she can do two damage to your opponent at once um, which is what the double corrupt is that's crazy strong but she's of course not easy to get out now this game is still building up it's uh it's very new to the uh, to the states, uh, there is already a second set out in Japan, but we haven't got that here yet. Um, I don't think we're getting that one here actually, but we are getting um, a second set in February, which I'm excited for. Uh, of course, I've still got to build my deck for this. My my friends are bugging me to to prep it and play it with them, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been so busy, but. That's not a great excuse. I've got to put my gaming first, right? Yeah, I know. I've got, I've got work to do, but believe it or not, this is not how I make my money. So for those of you unfamiliar with this game, um, it's it's a game based around uh, you want to you want to deal damage with your servants to your opponent, um, and you have to corrupt their magic orbs, which they have seven of. And when you corrupt one, that orb is uh, it's a it's a face down card that is played alongside of your board, and uh, whenever one of your orbs gets corrupted, you put that into your hand. Some cards have the break ability, like this one here. And if that one is an orb that gets corrupted, it plays itself for free. You can choose to play it. I don't believe you're required to, since some spells and whatnot have them as well. Um, so the idea is when, when you're taking damage, you, you kind of have an opportunity to retaliate, um, to, to even the playing field. Uh, with Force of Will, that didn't go over so well, but I think some of the, the rules they had in place were not, um, 
were not as popular for that. I imagine they're trying to fix that with this game. So. Of the games I've played, it's been fun. Um, I've only played with the with the demo decks or the trial decks, um, but they are they're a little unbalanced. I'll show those off in another video. Let's see, getting a lot of level one casters here. Really hoping for that hyper rare. I'd love to see that. It's a really cool card. Um, I'd be excited to add it to my collection. But there's no guarantee for that. It's uh, it's probably got the rarity of an Uber. So we all know how that works. Enticing Nightwear. Hmm. I don't remember that one. Um, because there are so many different cards in the game and so few in a box, it is actually possible to not get... In fact, it's, it's likely that you won't get full sets of things like even commons and uncommons. Um, the game does have a... I don't remember if it's a three or a four card max per card um, in a deck, but... It is difficult to get a full set of them. I want to say it's still four for this game. Um, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I have opened a few boxes and, and had a number of things that I didn't have full sets of. Now, another thing that's fun about this game, you've probably noticed I'm opening a, a lot of different colors here. There's seven different colors. Um, a lot of games stick to the normal five with your... Um, what is the the black, white, blue, red, and green colors? Uh, this game essentially has those, but then it also adds in your pink and um, uh, orange, and they all have their own names. And I'm I'm not going to be able to remember any of them right now, unfortunately. But you can go you know, look them up online and learn about them and get all the fancy details. So that uh, it's cool that they did that though because it adds it adds new archetypes to the game. You don't have your usual okay red is red is burn and and blue is removal or whatever it might be. Um, they had to to mix it up to accommodate the additional colors. So the game is actually different. Um, oh, there we go. Here's so this is a, a they they call it an ultra rare. You can see on the bottom there. It's eh can't get that focused, but down the bottom here, you've got your UR, um, and that's your level two caster. So it can produce two um, magic in this game. There's one of them. We've only got a few packs left here, so I imagine we'll get at least one more. Normally, normally there's two of them per, per box. would make these a little easier to open when i open a magic pack or something it just cracks right open without an issue these i have to struggle through goblin merchant the uh the art's a little bit different than some of the other cards which is interesting you can see the the contrast there i have some friends who love the goblin merchant they think it's adorable all right here comes our last pack. So I would expect that we'll see another level two caster in here. Um, again, could be wrong. Maybe I only got one. 
know what the guarantees are. Happy, compulsory journey, sage advice, princess papillon, and a passion wing. Not another level two. Okay. So it is not a guarantee. Good to know. Um, so that was my last pack. That is a box of Caster Chronicles. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't talk your ear off too much. Um, please come back. I will be doing more unboxings on this channel as I get more cards and sets and games and, and my hands on more things. Um, so thank you. And uh, I'll see you soon.